Welcome, my dear students, fourth primary. This is our first lesson with your new subject, ICT. Let's start our lesson. ICT refers to Information Communication Technology. Let's watch this video together. Firstly, ICT stands for Information and Communications Technology. ICT are things like an interactive whiteboard, digital camera, computers, iPods, computer games, blogs, emails, and the list goes on. So now all of this refers to technology in our life. All of us use maybe all of these applications or some of them. This is technology in our daily life. Definition of ICT. Information refers to knowledge obtained from reading, study, and research. The process of transmitting and exchanging information between individuals. أول ما بحاول أنقل المعلومة اللي توصلت لها سواء كانت قصة بحكيها لزمايلي أو عايزة أقول لهم إن أنا we have a story that's very interesting and you have to read مجرد إن أنا بحاول أعمل exchange للإنفورميشن اللي عندي مع أصحابي يبقى أنا في الحالة دي بعمل communication with my friends technology application used to solve problem the way which you used to transmit the information for your friends using any applications like WhatsApp, Facebook, all of these called technology apps. الوسيلة اللي أنا بستخدمها عشان أبلغ صحابي بالمعلومة اللي عندي سواء كانت باستخدام الموبايل أو باستخدام الواتساب أو باستخدام الفيسبوك كل دي بسميها تكنولوجي أيا كانت الوسيلة اللي أنت بتستخدمها. So now ICT Information Communication Technology Information you read or study communication, exchange this information with your friends, and a technology, the method which you select, okay? Impact of ICT in our daily lives. يا ترى إيه تأثير التكنولوجيا علينا في حياتنا؟ أنا اخترت لكم بس الجزء الخاص بينا كستودنت. Now it's time to discuss the impact T in students. This is very important for us ICT students. Well, not just us, but for every students. ICT encourage them to improve performance through discovery learning, gain valuable skills, collaborate with your group, and access information online. Yeah, but how do you find information? Though? Good question. By using search engines like Google, Bing, Yahoo, DuckDuckGo, Microsoft Edge. Did you get impact of ICT in your daily life as a student? For students. First, improve performance through discovery learning. Second, collaborate with your group. Access information online. This is the title of our first lesson, Active Explorer. Who is he? Do you know him? Watch this video to discover who is he. This is pumice. Volcanic rock. I head for the summit with Peruvian archaeologist Amelia Perez Trujillo. We follow the flow of lava. We're meeting my LiDAR team at the top. I'm looking for evidence that this was a sacred site for people who were here before the Inca. You guys ready to fly? Just about, yeah. Okay. Ropes up. These are all troopers. Right here. Just over that edge there. Look at that. Esas son las tres chulpas pre-incas que acceden al volcán. And now, did you know him after watching the video? Yes? Very really good. He is Albert Lin. Who is Albert Lin? He is a famous archaeologist who uses modern tools to explore archaeological sites without digging. What are archaeological sites? The truth is that Stonehenge is a masterpiece of human ingenuity. The first Stonehenge was a simple circular ditch dug with antler tools around 5,000 years ago. By around 2,500 BC, larger stones had been brought to the site, including giant sarsen stones from North Wiltshire, which could weigh as much as 30 tons. We're not entirely sure how the stones were transported, but it is thought that they were dragged on wooden rollers and loaded onto rafts where possible. 
Smaller blue stones were also brought to the site from Wales, a journey of over... So, ancient people try to build their town and for some reasons, maybe they are natural reason and maybe not, these towns disappeared. So, our archaeologist Albert Lynn discovered many of these towns. What is archaeology? Archaeologists are like detectives. They study human life by looking at artifacts, which are the man-made objects the people who lived long ago left behind. By looking at objects, they try to figure out how people lived in the past. So it's easy now to recognize him. He is Albert Lin, our famous archaeologist, uses modern tools to explore archaeological sites without digging. Okay, the importance of technological tools for archaeologists save time and effort, speed to get result, explorer before digging, dig for long distance, contact a survey over the ground to determine the places they want to search. And now, what are the most important tools that archaeologists use? Can you guess? The first one, satellite. Collect a clear image. You can get image using satellites for other places. Second tool, it's drone, helping us find sites without ding. It's like small airplane without pipe. Third one is GPS. To search for a place using satellites, then start to search under the ground. Before you start dinging, you have to indicate the place. The fourth one is magnometer. It's a device that measures magnetic field direction and strength to find minerals in the ground. You will study in science subject. And the most important one, it's the fourth one, which you called GBR, ground penetrating radar. It's used to find buried objects under the ground. As you see here, this is our tool, give transmitted waves, which will go through the ground till find bare the body and so it reflected again and we have now data recording which we will use to be sure that there is here bare the body or object which we, so we can start to dig okay what are the most tools that scientists use can you think about other tools which can help scientists while they are searching one of them, telescope, is a device we use to make objects appear closer. When you are looking for something that's very far away, you can use telescope. Also, microscope we use to create clear, to create clear picture of an atom, because we can see by naked eyes. Actually, we have two types: tools above the ground, tools under the ground. For the tools that are above the ground, the first tool is satellite, GPS, drone, all of these are tools which used above the ground. What about tools under the ground? Magnometer and GBR. What do archaeologists do when they don't know where to dig? They can use drone, they can use satellites to get clear picture, also, they can use GPR or ground penetrating radar. Which tools did Albert use? How did he see what the trees hide? Let's watch this video and discover. It's unbelievable. As far as the eye can see, just jungle. Jungle everywhere. I'm Albert Lynn, engineer and National Geographic Explorer. And I'm passionate about the way new technology can help to reveal secrets of the ancient world. So we had this augmented reality platform built based off of the LiDAR data. And it should be able to tell us what's beyond the trees. And it says there's a massive temple just around the corner. Gosh. Did you discover how Albert Lynn see what the trees hide? First he used his tablet and he can see what the trees hide. How did he make this? 
by using augmented reality platform which built to get hidden data it should be able to tell us what's being the trees by creating a map by lasers in the sky point to find lots of treasure remember what are the most important tools that archaeologists use first satellites magnometer GPS drone and GBR what can archaeologists find using these tools we can find many of these things money tools animal and so on cities under the ground you can find whole city under the ground what are the most important skills to an engineer can you think of this it's like an activity you have to think what I can help you now teamwork creativity problem solving logical thinking so now what are the most important skills to an archaeologist update to technology creativity problem solving logical thinking if you have more you can add and also teamwork try to think which tool can you use in this case you want to see if there are coins under the ground what can you do now okay we can use a magnometer because it can fill with the minerals under the ground. Is it right? Also, another case you wanted to see if there is an ancient building under the ground. What can you do now? Yes, you can use GBR to record the data if there is bird body under the ground. We will get reflected waves which uh, give us data to record, and then you can dig the ground. This is a class activity. Mr. Albert Ren relied on his engineering experience while practicing his work as archaeologist. Try to think about other fields that could be helpful for archaeologists. So now we will be divided into groups and discuss which other field can be helpful like engineering. Another activity, after 50 years from now, what are the technology changes that will happen and how these changes will help archaeologists? After 50 years, can you imagine where will technology be? Try to think and describe how it will be very useful for archaeologists. Think and answer. Imagine that you will go on expedition archaeology trip to find the bird city in desert. What are technology tools you will use? Write a short paragraph start with to embark on our expedition we will need. Please write a short paragraph explaining why do you will use these tools and explain the function of each tool. Thank you. We have finished our first lesson. See you soon in our next lesson, inshallah. <laughs>